Dr. Jordan Peterson rose to international fame for his controversial defense of free speech and free expression, but he's now calling for the censorship of media outlets. We're going to break it all down and see what he had to say, but first, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Brad Palumbo, an independent content creator, journalist, and podcast host, and consider sticking around, subscribing, joining our community, hitting that like button, commenting, let me know what you think in the comments below. And now let's dive into what Dr. Peterson tweeted that's so controversial. So this all comes in the context of the tragic school shooting in Nashville. And Dr. Peterson responded to a tweet from Prager University that was asking what can be done to stop school shootings. He wrote, ban media from reporting the names of the perpetrators for one year. Problem solved. Now, what Peterson's getting at here is the idea that many of these deranged killers are driven by the desire for notoriety and infamy that these shooters are given by the wall-to-wall -wall media coverage that details their backstories, plasters their face and their name all over the headlines, writes them into the public consciousness and into history. There's a serious case to be made that this kind of media coverage inadvertently encourages more people to commit this kind of heinous act. That said, Dr. Dr. Peterson is certainly going too far by suggesting bans or government censorship, and he's also wrong to suggest that this could completely solve the problem. Still, it is possible that reforming media coverage could reduce the number of mass shootings. As I previously reported for Newsweek, there's an expert from Western New Mexico University, psychologist Jennifer B. Johnston, who's found in her research that mass shooters tend to be in the midst of rampant depression, social isolation, and pathological narcissism, and they're in part driven to such heinous crime by their desire for national attention. It's undeniable that wall-to-wall -wall media coverage in the wake of these mass shootings makes the crime all the more tantalizing for these would-be mass murderers. We find that a cross-cutting trait among many profiles of mass shooters is desire for fame and correspondence to the emergence of widespread 24-hour news coverage on cable news programs and the rise of the internet, Johnson has said. In fact, her research shows that if the media changed the way they cover these incidents, mass shootings could be reduced by up to one-third. So, Peterson's desire to see the media change the way they cover these atrocities is well warranted, but his call to use government bans and censorship to achieve this goal is not. First things first, such a ban would clearly and obviously violate the First Amendment. The government simply does not have the authority under our Constitution to tell media outlets what they're allowed to report on and what they're not allowed to report on. If they did have that power, it would completely undermine the role that a free press is supposed to play in a free society. It's supposed to hold the government accountable and keep the public informed. It can't do that if that very government has the authority to tell them certain stories or topics are off limits. We don't want a government with that power, and neither should Dr. Peterson because it wouldn't work out very well for outlets like The Daily Wire, the right-wing platform where Dr. Peterson hosts his show. And it's actually not necessary to compromise our principles or violate the Constitution to achieve the needed change in media coverage on these issues. We've already seen in the past that it can happen on a voluntary basis if there's enough public pressure and demand. Because a few years ago, there was a disturbing trend where the media was covering celebrities who took their own lives in great detail, including the method and the details of everything that went down. And unfortunately, it was noted and research showed that this led to an uptick in the rates of people who also chose to end their own lives. When the public demanded that the media change in response to this information, it did. Now there's new standards about how to report on those kinds of tragedies, and the coverage looks very different today in most places than it did just a few years ago. That didn't happen through government laws or censorship, but through public pressure campaigns and the free market. We can achieve this kind of reform when it comes to school shootings, and Jordan Peterson is right to want that. But even his most diehard fans should admit that his willingness to embrace government censorship is counterproductive and hypocritical. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Brad Palumbo. If you're new here and you like this video, consider subscribing. Or if you want to hear more of my hot takes and my thoughts on what's going on in the world, consider checking out my video podcast at the link that's over my shoulder.